One of the most difficult things that creatives have to do, especially photographers and cinematographers, is travel. And traveling can be a lot of fun, but it can also be a huge pain in the butt because you have to take all of your equipment with you. Unless you're going to be renting everything that you're going to need at the location that you're traveling to, you have to bring your own equipment. And this is a blessing and a curse. It's good because it means you get to have stuff you're familiar with and that you know how to use, etc., etc. But it also means that you actually have to pack it and sometimes fly with it. And that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about the process of flying with camera equipment. This is mostly just because the people who work in the airports do not get paid enough money to care about your bags, which means they throw them, they chuck them, they're not exactly gentle with your stuff. Which means if you have something valuable, like a camera, a monitor, uh, anything like that, a strobe, you don't want it to be checked. If possible, you want to take it on the plane with you. Sometimes that's impossible, sometimes you have too much gear, or you have something that's too big, or what have you, but in most cases you want it with you at all times. And this means you need to have bags that are good for that kind of travel. So I have a camera backpack. I made a video specifically about it. You can check it out up here. Um, I really enjoy that backpack and I use it when I fly, when I go hiking, I use it for just about everything. And that means that I'm very familiar with it and I know exactly how I have to pack it. But you do pack things slightly differently when you're traveling on a plane than when you're just going somewhere. So there are certain things that you don't want to ever have leave your person, things like your passport maybe, and you need to have a place for those kinds of things in your bag, and that's gonna sometimes take up space that would be used for something else. So I end up flying with just the bare minimum that I feel like I need to have on my person, um, and I'm super protective of. So that means camera, lenses, um, and then any personal items, and my laptop which means that the section that normally has my microphone and my monitor in it, I mean, that's got to be emptied. So that section gets uh, maybe a couple notebooks, gets all my chargers and stuff, because if I need to charge my laptop or my phone or whatever on the plane or in the airport, I want to have that stuff near me. So that goes up there, and those things are going to get tucked away into another bag. I actually like to tuck items like that into my suitcase if I have clothes or whatever in it, because you can tuck it in amongst something that's kind of big and puffy, like a jacket. You tuck it in, and then you don't have to worry about it so much. Uh, if you have a small travel tripod, stick that in your suitcase, or if it's small enough, you can take it um, in your carry-on bag, in your um, your backpack. So my backpack is small enough that I can actually attach the tripod to the side and still take it on the plane and fit it under the seat in front of me okay. If you have bigger things that you need to carry, if, for example, strobes um, and lighting modifiers and stuff like that, I recommend a hard case. Um, this also applies if you have a bigger video camera or multiple cameras that you need to travel with. Uh, my case is by SKB. Um, I love it. I put all my stuff in it and I can fly and not have to worry. I like to take it on the plane with me, but I do know that if I have to check it for whatever reason or if someone drops it you know, out of the overhead compartment, then my equipment will most likely be safe. So when you're going on a, a trip, 
You have to think about the gear that you're going to have, where it's going to go, when you're going to need to access it. If you're going to be taking video on the plane, then you need to have your camera in a place you can get to it quickly. Um, probably actually have it in your lap when the plane takes off, so that way you don't have to be fumbling around you know, at the last minute when you see a beautiful shot out your window. Uh, but the other thing to keep in mind is that when you're going through security, sometimes it's a pain in the butt. I know out of the times that I've gone on trips with a lot of camera equipment, basically one of the two flights, so either the flight there or the flight back, I end up having problems. Um, either it's with my, my suitcase, which has some stuff crammed in it, or with my actual camera bag itself. This means what you need to do to make things go as smoothly as possible is um, you're required to take your laptop out and they say any electronic larger than a cell phone, which means cameras and lenses. So I take out every camera and every lens that I'm traveling with and I put them in their own bin. Then my laptop gets its own bin and then the next bin is for my shoes and my jacket and my wallet and my phone and stuff. But that means there's one for camera, one for laptop, one for other stuff. It means that it's a pain in the butt when you have to unload when you're going through security. So I like to make sure that my backpack is prepped so that I can get at everything from one side very easily to take it out. But that's just what you have to do because, you know, going through TSA is a pain in the butt. But the biggest thing to keep in mind when you're traveling with camera gear is when you get to your destination, take some amazing photos or some beautiful video and share it with the world and just enjoy yourself because uh, that's the most important thing about any art form is, you know, enjoying the process of creating. I really enjoyed making this video and I got to travel and share my experiences with that with you guys. So, uh, Really appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Like, dislike, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, check out my Instagram if you're interested. And until next time, toodles.